Let not the wife depart from her husband. Let not the wife depart from her husband, read. But if she depart, if she depart, read. Let her remain unmarried. Let her remain what? Unmarried. Unmarried, read. Or be reconciled to her husband, or to be reconciled to her husband. Or to be reconciled, go back to her husband. If she depart for a little while, might have to go to mommy's house, might go somewhere else. Let her come back to her husband. While she's still sustained. <laughs> yeah. While she's still sullivan. Right. <laughs> and not having sex with another man. Right. So when you come back, you're coming back in five. Right, exactly. Huh? If you do that. Go ahead. And let not the husband put away his wife. Let not the husband put away his wife. Put her away. That's why you got to be sure who you're dealing with. You got to know for sure this is who I want to be with. This commandment. You say he's speaking of this from the most high, not it by permission. Mm -hmm. Let not the man put away his wife. Go ahead. But to the rest speak I. This is what he's speaking. Go ahead. Not the most high. He let you know, not the most high. This is for, you know, our understanding of what he knew that would work. Go ahead. If any brother hath a wife that believeth not, and she be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. Yeah. If you have a woman that believe not, and she be pleased to dwell with you, and she not trying to take you off, because most because my shake of a shot say he didn't hate her father, mother, wife, son, daughter, and his own life. Not be my disciple. That's if they trying to take you off your path to eternal life. You can't let no, you can't let nobody take you off the path of what we're trying to do. Hopefully everybody's working to be mm -hmm. in the kingdom. Because mm -hmm. people that people will take you off your path of making it to the kingdom, and you look around, you're not a Mashiach Yahweh, she don't love you no more. You just part of the world. You're just going through the motions. Go ahead. If a brother hath a wife that believeth not, and she be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. Let him not put her away. Go ahead. And the woman which hath in a husband that believeth not, and if he be yeah. and, if. and if he be pleased to dwell with her, let her not leave him. Right. The woman have a husband. This is Paul, this ain't commandment now. But he's rolling with the spirit. He said, he said, speak I, not the most high. Husband, I believe it not, and if he be pleased to dwell with her, let her not leave him. Me? For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife, and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Else were your children unclean, but now are they holy. Yeah, somebody got to be holy <laughs> for the children to be holy. Yeah. If both of you, if both of you the foul, doing all kind of madness, then the children going to be the foul. But it could be holy at least through one. That's the only thing he's saying. Because one will be continually following the most high's law, statute, commandments, his rules and regulations. Read. Listen. But if the unbelieving depart. So if the unbelieving leave the relationship, read. Let him depart. Let him depart, read. A brother or a sister is not under bondage in such cases. So you, ain't, you ain't under bondage. If they want to leave and they unbelieving, let them go. So you ain't under bondage in such cases. Well, this is what the Most High gonna give you, read. But the Most High had called us to peace. <laughs> ah, that's a good with that. The Most High called us to what? Peace. You gonna have peace. And that's something that a lot of people don't have. Mm -hmm. so, hey, let them go. At the end, the end, you gonna have peace. But that's the only reason why you would want to leave someone because it's not peaceful. Right. Something is wrong. They're taking one of one of one in the relationship is taking away the peace of the other. Right. So he said, let them go. They don't believe it anyway. Right. Then you will have peace. Nothing like peace of a Mashiach Kelly shot. Go ahead. For what knowest thou, O wife, whether thou shalt save thy husband? Or how knowest thou, O man, whether thou shalt save thy wife? 
Say, how you know you're going to save each other? Go ahead. But as the Most High had distrib distributed to every man, as the Most High had called every one, so let him walk, and so ordain I in all churches. Right. So as Most High have called you into this, walk in this. <coughs> and don't deviate. Let nobody take you off your course because you look around. You in hell talking about, well, it's that woman that you gave me. Right. You're going to say, oh, no, it's that man you gave me. You know, that's why it's not really good to uh, to be, uh, see, Paul is speaking. You say he's speaking this way. This is him speaking. You got to realize that, you know, Scripture says, uh, look at, uh, Ramus 3 and 3. Amos 3 and 3. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Yeah. What do he say? Can two walk together except they be agreed? Can two walk together except they be agreed? So you really have a dispute in the first place because you believe one way. Mm -hmm. And they believe in another way. And it's, it, it's going, it's going to get, get uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. I hear what he's saying, but I hear what this says too. <laughs> 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. Now I beseech you, brother, by the by Bahashima Masigabasai, that ye all speak the same thing. And two walk together and not be agreed. He said, I beseech you, brother, that we all speak the same thing, right? And that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. So brothers are together in the same mind, the same judgment, go home and deal with a woman that's all the way against you. That's not. That's not peaceful. Peace. That's not peace. That's chaos. That, that, that's chaotic. Or a woman believe in this truth and go home to a man that's worldly. Mm -hmm. That's going to be chaotic. That's why he gave us, look at. Uh, and the children chaotic. <laughs> yeah. They're going to be unholy. <laughs> Romans 16. Seventeen. Romans chapter 16, verse 17. Right. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. Right, so you're dealing with, can two walk together and not agree? Hmm. So it says, when you have brothers or sisters that cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned, hopefully the doctrine that you learn is the Most High loved Jacob. And we got to come together to love Jacob like the Most High loved Jacob. You know, and discern ourselves first and foremost, if at all possible, to be at peace with all men, right. you know, of our nation. Saying avoid them, you have a right to avoid them. Why? Read. For they that are such serve not our power, Hamashiach outside, mm -hmm. but their own belly. Yeah, they, they, with you for the, they might be with you for their own cause, which how you can benefit them. Read. And by good words and fair speeches, deceive the hearts of the simple. So now you become simple <laughs> because they deceiving you, and most I call you simple. So I say, how are you the simple one when you love simplicity? And see, these ones that know how to speak very well to get their little rap on or get their little charm on, mm -hmm. their little seducing spirit mm -hmm. when they need it, they seduce the minds of the simple. Good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. 
can't be simple around here. You gotta be smart and intelligent. Mm -hmm. Love is intelligent. Yeah. <laughs> Look at, uh, go back to 1 Corinthians 7 chapter. First Corinthians chapter 7, verse 25. Now concerning virgins, I have no commandment of the Most High. Yet I give my judgment as one that hath obtained mercy of the Most High to be faithful. Right. So he said he will give his judgment as a man that has received mercy from the Most High and he's really faithful in Baal Shama Mashiach Yahushai. Go ahead. I suppose therefore that this is good for the present distress, I say that it's good for a man so to be. Go ahead. Out, right. thou, art thou bound unto a wife? So you bound to a wife? You in, in marriage? You bound to a wife? Read. Seek not to be loose. Don't seek to be loose. Don't seek to divorce her. Don't seek to be loose from her. Read. Art thou loose from a wife? I'm just like But, but, and if thou marry, Thou hast not. Read verse 27 again. Art thou bound unto a wife? Are you bound to a wife? Read. Seek not to be loose. Seek not to be loose. Read. Art thou loose from a wife? Are you seek. Are you loose from a wife? You don't have a wife? Read. Seek not a wife. Right. Said, hey, are you loose from a wife? Don't be so quick to seek after a wife. I want to read. But, and if thou marry, thou hast not. Sin. If you marry, you have not sinned, read. And if a virgin marry, she had not sinned. If a virgin marry, she had not sinned, read. Nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh, but I spare you. He said, you have trouble how? In the flesh. Flesh. <laughs> he said, but I spare you. You read? But this I say, brother, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none. So read that again. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none. Well, most men can't really relate to that. Most women can't relate to that because they want that time. Attention. That attention, you know. Mainly that time. I said, but if I say, brethren, the time is short, and we can really relate to this now, uh -huh. because we really got to be coming together more in the mindset and stuff. It's because you like you look at how how far apart brothers are. If you just come on the Sabbath day, your time of really getting whatever you need to get is only on the Sabbath day. That's four times a month. That's 48 times a year. Subtract that from 365 Esau's days of the year. You got 300 and some days that you really ain't working on what it is we need to be working on as a nation to be able to build in the times of Jacob's trouble. See? That's why we gotta be always thinking ahead and not be caught off in looking at, well, I know what I'm gonna do, so now you become individuals. Most of the time in your life, you're individuals. It ain't about what's the nation gonna do. You gotta think about the people, what you're gonna do outside from yourself that's involving everyone that we all can do to be there together for each other. You know, like we see people down scared, bro, you know what I mean? You have those they, they, they in order, and if they go down, they all jump, jump, jump in line together, you know what I mean? Where you been, where you been? Well, they, they right there, you know? Whereas normal people, they dealing with, they've been taught to be individualists mm -hmm. to the utmost. I mean, selfish you can't deny that. Right. You know, it's kind of like a selfish type of, of way of being that it's sad that we can't come together to do hardly anything together as a nation. We don't want to give that time, that sacrifice. But when it goes, the most sides, like the most sides, they say he, he's destroyed 237 homes being in Cali so far. 30, over 30,000 acres burned up. And that's what they're saying, it might be more than that. 
You know what I mean? Because they figures always going to bring low whenever it comes to them. You know what I'm saying? Just had an earthquake, 8.3 chill again. Yeah. There's a, a storm in Utah. They said they had uh, floods before, but not like this one. It just took cars. There's a wall of water just came in and washed people down. It's killed them. See? Washed them down in Utah. Flash floods. This so, get people scared. <laughs> so, and then, but see, people wait till it happened. It's too late then. Right, right. It'd be too late then. When you don't have that mindset to really look at we as a nation, what we're gonna do, how we're gonna be prepared, how we're gonna, you know, be set up so that, so like if it happened, we here. Right. We gotta be prepared for being here. You in your car. At least something to be able to sustain yourself. You know, they have those little mills at uh, oh, yeah. Costco. You can get some. If you don't have them, get them. You know, find somebody with a Costco car, get one yourself. Go get those little meals. You add water to them, get some body. They got a lot of times, a lot of, a lot of time that they're looking at putting in some work on Jacob. <laughs> it's all about us. All the other nations gonna follow who's ever in the order. Right, right. Who's ever in the power? Who's ever in the order of who's ever the superpower of the earth? You know what I mean? Right. Mm -hmm. They're gonna follow the order. Do this, they always done. Right. You know what I mean? And Israel, wicked Israel gonna do the same thing. Right. <laughs> or just offer them something, what's your price? What would a man give for his soul? You're gonna find out. And you're gonna find out who's really real, who's not real. Who's faithful and who's not faithful. And these times to come. Very soon. It's right around the corner, y'all. That's why, you know, I've been saying certain things to prepare everybody to be ready. So if you're not ready, to sustain yourself, you can't get to where you can, you can get to where you're going now. Traffic all jammed up, you can't go nowhere. Right. You know, the traffic is all jammed up, so now, this is what he's saying, you know. He say the time is short. It remained that both they that have wives be as though they had none for all the work that needs to be done. And the time you gotta put into it. Uh -huh. But a woman gotta read this and say, I understand, rather than go against what this says, you know what I mean, because the time is short. And their salvation will be dependent upon how they conduct themselves, huh. rather than take a man away from it, because right. most, most of them are gonna take a man away from them, they say, you know, the man is like, I gotta be under, under this woman. Mm -hmm. Why? You see, your woman, she your woman. If she's gonna, if she gonna allow Satan to come in and take her away from you, then you gonna have what? Peace. That's what he just said. Keep peace or chaos. <laughs> That's right. In this world set up, he want chaos. They want chaos. In every way, shape, or form, they can bring. Don't matter how it comes. Just they want that chaos. Yeah, like those shows that that's the. Um, um, uh, Jerry, Jerry Springer, all that stuff. Yeah. That can't, they, that's just chaos. The hit shows, money, yeah. chaos. Wise, I mean, basketball wise. Yeah, right. Right. All oh, this uh, madness. Hip hop, something. <laughs> yeah, hip hop wise in the land or something yeah, like that. Yeah, no, the hip hop thing you were talking about, the brothers. Huh? The hip hop show that someone does night how they, Right, right. The hip hop something. Hip hop something, something show. It's crazy. Verse 30. And they that weep as though they weep not. They that cry as if they didn't cry at all. Read. And they that rejoice as though they rejoice not. See, they that's laughing. You, you all jolly as if you didn't laugh at all. Read. And they that buy as though they possess not. There it is. They that buy as if they possess not. Say, that's when the time is short. And we know the time is getting shorter and shorter unless you're just in darkness. Straight ignorance, read. And they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passes away. Yeah, the passion, the fashion of this world passes away. The way you see the world today could be in a few days, 
Mm. Everything could change uh. right before your eyes. And now it's about what would you give for your